Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7 by 7 your daily dose of Star Wars joy. And thank you so much for joining me for it. So Shield of the Jedi is the third of ten stories and tales of light and life, the High Republic story collection that bridges all three phases of the mega ginormous publishing initiative so i guess a multimedia initiative at this point <laughs> anyway this is george mann's story and as the title suggests it's about salandra show but it's really more about rupert natani who is salandra's padawan and specifically it is about Ruper being ready for the trials, ready to move on from being a Padawan and becoming a Jedi Knight. There's nothing about the path of the open hand or the closed fist or the ever any or anything like that. It takes place roughly three years after the events of phase two of the Battle of Jedha and the Night of Sorrow. So yeah, comparatively low stakes, but I will say it was actually very fun and cool to be along in the story of a Padawan going through a Jedi trial. We haven't really gotten a lot of that in Star Wars storytelling. We get to see the creativity in which Solandra Show sets up a trial that is particular to Rupert Natani's skills, but also allows for Rupert to consider Solandra and think about what kind of trial she would set up for Rupert. And so there's an interesting little interplay between the two sort of trying to read each other's personalities basically in the inventing of the trial and the completion of the trial. As it is a George Mann story, there are also a couple of little check boxes for stuff that he likes. Darth Kaladoff gets a mention in here. Surprise, surprise. And a creature that is one out of fairy tales shows up. This is a Salmaka, and George Mann is, of course, the writer of various Star Wars legends and fables and myths and whatnot. So it ends up playing right into his wheelhouse in that regard. We are in spoiler territory, by the way, as I've said with the other stories that we've been talking about they've been out for long enough so yeah we're definitely going to spoil stuff potentially <laughs> as part of this but the whole trial centers around Solandra show saying to Rupert Natani hey go find my shield Solandra is a rare Jedi that actually has a shield that she wields because it's a reminder that she's supposed to be protecting people as a Jedi and the shield has been passed down from generation to generation particularly from master to apprentice and also particularly upon a Padawan's successful completion of the Jedi trials and their ascension to knighthood. So you can imagine where this story goes as a result, which is really touching and beautiful. It is just, it's so well done. And the story itself is just put together like a classic timepiece. Like everything just ticks very smoothly, runs along beautifully. And yeah, like I said, you know, comparatively low stakes, that's fine. Just a beautifully put together little short story. There's also a bit of a wink toward Tolkien because this Salmaka is hoarding all sorts of bits and bobs and funny pieces of junk, glittery, shiny stuff. But unlike Smog, who is hoarding gold and riches and whatnot, this thing <laughs> is just hoarding trash. But it turns out that as opposed to letting the townspeople try to kill this thing, they actually need to let it live because it is serving a purpose that nobody really even knows about, that there are these really horrific spiders that it just happens to like to eat very much. And so it's keeping the people safe from those. And so there's a way for the villagers to live in peace with this thing, give it some of the junk trinkets since it can't discriminate <laughs> between the good stuff and the bad stuff and let it do its thing. And that's the balance that Rupert has has to find and understand as part of the situation. The Salmaka, of course, has also taken the shield. <laughs> and so getting the shield back, you know, leads into this whole adventure. And yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was very nicely done. So that's what I've got to share with you about Shield of the Jedi, which is George Mann's short story in the High Republic collection, Tales of Light and Life. And that is going to do it for this episode of the podcast. It just remains for me to say, thank you so much for joining me for it as always. And May the force be with you, wherever in the world you may be. Star Wars 7x7 is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited, other respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyrighted by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.